Hello, good day everyone. In this tutorial, I'm only going to introduce to you this beautiful topic in mathematics, which is very essential when it comes to counting. And it is referred to as non-bible system. In mathematics, non-bible system is just the system of counting in bundles, where some certain units form bundles and subsequent bundles form other bundles. Before I explain these bundles, let me show you how this base is represented. So first we have a particular number, x subscript y. This x here is the number, while y is the base. So there are two important things you need to know. Any number without an assigned base, suppose we have just x as a number, that number is in base 10 naturally if it does not contain any assigned base that's number one number two you need to know that the highest digit in any number base is one less than the base itself so if you are talking about numbers in base 10 you will never see 10 within the range if you're talking about numbers in base 9 you can only see numbers from 0 to 8 if you're talking about base 7 you can only see numbers from 0 to 6 in that order. So for base 10, the only available numbers there are 0, 1, 2, up to 9. For base 9, you can see numbers from 0 to, to 8. If you're talking about base 3 you can only see numbers like 0 1 and 2 if you're talking about base 2 you can only see 0 and 1 so now let me explain that bundle suppose we have five items and we want to group them in two so every two form a bundle, every two form a bundle, and we have an extra, which we call a unit. And if you are to add an extra item, just a single item, that single item is going to be linked off with the unit left to form a complete bundle. And hence we say we have three bundles. To understand this bundle clearly, let me refer back to numbers in base 10. You know, naturally we count in base 10. And every time we are counting, once we reach 9, the next number is going to be 0 because 10 is a complete bundle. And once you completed your bundle, you have to recount all over again from 0. So, suppose we have numbers like 1, 7, 8 in base 10. You know the next number is going to be 1, 7, 9, also in base 10. The next number is going to be 1, 7, 10 in base 10. But remember I told you the highest digit in any number base is 1 less than the base itself. So 10 is a complete bundle and hence you need to recount all over again from 0 and take that bundle, complete bundle to the next number. And instead of having 10 here, we have 0 is 10 and that completed bundle should be taken to the next number and it becomes 8. So this is bundle for you. This is unit. Unit will keep on increasing till it reaches the highest number which we have here as our base and it will complete a bundle and that bundle is going to be taken to the next number. This is how it will keep on increasing till it reaches 10 again you count all over again from zero and this number becomes nine. And once this next number becomes 10, it will count from zero again and take that bundle to the next. So units form bundles and bundles form other bundles. For base nine, suppose we have two, seven, seven in base nine. The next number is going to be two, seven, eight, base 9, the next number 27, 
9 base 9, but we do not have 9. 9 is a complete bundle, so instead of writing 9, we write 0. And we take that bundle to the next. And this becomes 8. If you keep on increasing this till it reaches 9, it becomes 0 again. And it will take that bundle to the next. And if you take that one to the next, it becomes 9, and 9 is a complete bundle. And you have to write 0 again and take that bundle to the next, and it becomes 30, base 9. Now in base 2, you can only see zeros and ones, which are also very essential in computing. You know, computer only understands zeros and ones. So suppose we have 1, 1, 0, 1, 1 in base 2. The next number is going to be 1, 1, 0, 1, 2. But you can never write 2 in base 2. 2 is a complete bundle. Then you write the remainder, which is zero, and you take that bundle to the next, and this also becomes two. And once it becomes two, it's a complete bundle. You have to write zero, and take that one to the next, and this becomes one. So the next number after this is one 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 zero zero. Next number one 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 zero one is two. Next number one 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 zero. This becomes two complete bundle. You write zero. You take that bundle to the next, and this becomes uh, 1. Next number, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. The next number, 1, 1, 1, 1. Instead of 2, you write 0, and take that 1 to the next. It becomes 2 again, complete bundle. You write 0. You take that 1 to the next. 1 plus 1, 2, it becomes a complete bundle. You write 0. You take it to the next, it becomes 2. You write 0, you take it to the next, it becomes 2, you write 0, you take that 1 to the next, and you have 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, base 2. This is the next number. So there is something which is very important, again, in elementary arithmetic, base 10. So first we have 2, 4, 4, 7 in base 10. You know, naturally, the last number or the last digit, we call it unit. Because unit is the first value of seven here. And the next before it, we call it tens, hundreds, and thousands. Why do we have this place values? Remember, we are counting in base 10. So once seven reaches 10, it will all count all over again from zero and take that bundle to the next number, which is 4 here, to make it 5. So every 10 rounds give the next number a chance to move. Every 10 rounds will give the next number a chance to move. So this is 10 power 0, if we are talking about unit. And 10 power 0, remember, is 1, and 1 is the same thing as unit. 10 power 0 is 1 times 10 is 10 power 1. And 10 power 1 times 10 is 10 power 2. 10 power 2 times 10 is 10 power 3. This means that this number here is 10 times as significant as this. This one is 10 times as significant as this. And this other one is 10 times as significant as this. So now let us simplify this. 10 power 0 is 1. This is why we have a unit. 10 power 1 is 10. This is why we have tens here. 10 power 2 is 10 times 10, which is 100. This is why we have hundreds here. 10 power 3 is 10 times 10 times 10, which is 1,000. And this is why we have uh, 1,000 here in that order. So this is just an introduction to this number base. In our next class, I'm going to show you how to convert numbers from base 10 to other bases and from other bases back to base 10. Thank you for watching. Do have a nice day.